Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. I'm great. Well, actually I just turned 26 last week, so that is a whole thing in itself. A new chapter for me, and I'm very excited because I have so many things that I wanna get done this year. Like, if you guys think I've done loads already, you haven't seen anything yet. Usually on birthdays, I feel a bit, you know, sad that I'm getting older but this year to be honest I really embrace turning 26 I think that it's not necessarily about the age for me it's more so about what I've achieved and I do feel that I've achieved quite a lot in 26 years so for that I do feel comfortable getting older I thought it would be fun to talk you guys through some of the bits that I got up to last week to celebrate turning 26 <laughs> so my birthday was July 11th that was on a Thursday so I was off work Thursday and Friday already planned for months 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 uh, so on Thursday I knew I wasn't gonna do anything because I went to go do my nails and then I also went to go see my best friend Shanice and her son he is adorable he literally made my birthday and then after that I went to go see my dad my stepmom was away so I didn't get to see her but I saw my little sister and she had a cake for me she had a gorgeous happy birthday balloon she made a beautiful card for me and she was so excited about my birthday as if it was her own birthday um so that was really nice it was a lovely day I came home I ordered Nando's and I just had a relaxing birthday day because I then got up to a bit more so let me insert the kits for you and enjoy what I got up to today's Friday the 12th of July and I am literally heading out right the second to go and get my hair done can you imagine I can't remember the last time I've actually stepped foot in a hairdresser store wow oh my god oh wow Jade <laughs> This is so oh pretty on you. Guys. The hair's gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. This is so pretty. How do you feel? Like I feel bits of like transformative. I feel like a new person. Hey you guys, I look like a different woman, don't I? I'm so in love with my hair. It took about two seconds to put on as well, so life is made, life's gonna be so different. I am here with the amazing Chloe who just did it. I'm at Heroin Hair Salon in Stoke Newington, right? And yeah, I can't believe that she's done this. Like, look at the colors. I sent her a picture and she has killed it. She's made it perfect for my skin tone as well because the picture was a little bit too light. Guys, oh my gosh. This is Chloe. Hi guys. She's so beautiful. Look at her, look at her hair. You did this as well, right? Yeah, I'm this assuming. is one of the wigs. This is one of the wigs. What's this one called? Um, this one is She Who Dares Wins. She Who Dares Wins, yeah. wow. So I tried to give the, way, the names of the wigs quite empowering names. Yes. Um, and it's available on the website right now. I'll leave the link so, down below for you well, guys, obviously. Jay's hair be on the website. And what is this well. one called, Chloe? This is called the Jay wigs. <gasps> I have my own wig, guys. <laughs> so if you guys want this wig, just quote Jade. But I'm going to leave links to Chloe's Instagram and yeah. website down below. Just know that there's going to be so loads pretty. of pictures. Chloe, so I'm so pretty. happy with this. And look at the movement, guys. This yeah. is what it's about light hair oh. that moves when you walk. It's so flowy. And it comes back. <laughs> and it's not like poofy and it, it doesn't knot. It's just so free. That's it. It's gorgeous. I'm so happy, guys. Wow. You guys. This hair, Chloe's amazing. I really, really hope she could do my hair again because I love the way she did it. Like, honestly, she's so lovely. I just love supporting businesses, young black businesses and women, like-minded women and men, obviously, who are just out there doing their thing. So then after that, I came back home, did a bit of cleaning because I had Bay dinner. So birthday dinner with Bay that's what it is, um, which we tend to do most years. If we're not out of the country, we tend to have a lovely birthday dinner together. I will show you guys I'm wearing in the mirror, but it's actually a bit of a mess in here. So you can see the dress, it's from Opoly. I love this. It's very simple to be honest. It's um, like a champagne kind of satin or ivory satin. It's not white, um, but maybe in some pictures it might look white. I'm ready, waiting, getting hot in here. So I'm just gonna go and sit in my living room and chill. 
so I don't start sweating, basically. We went to Nobu my first time there. Everything that we had was really nice. We just winged it. We tried loads of different bits and bobs and the cocktails were to die for. The next day was really, really fun. I had an amazing afternoon tea with some of my nearest and dearest ladies. And let me tell you, that day was just amazing <laughs> hey you guys so it's my birthday day number two dinner was amazing yesterday i went to nobu for the first time and absolutely loved it i love the whole concept of ordering loads of stuff and sharing and having different flavors because i tend to do that when i go to restaurants anyway so the boyfriend and i really enjoyed that we went to the one in shoreditch it was so yummy it was just so chilled the music was loud the vibe was really amazing and i got an amazing gift which is in that bag over there very excited about that so now i'm literally gonna head out drive to the station and get the train in to kensington because i'm going to this gorgeous tea room today and i am meeting up with six of my friends it was originally meant to be 12 and one by one they've not been able to make it for various reasons so it's going to be a nice and intimate tea and i'm super excited and i've dressed all out for the tea occasion this is what i'm wearing today um this dress is from in the style and i love it. but my hair i'm just loving it i can't wait to see the girl's reaction this is the dress how gorgeous is it please excuse all the mess around me i need to leave the house right now and i'm trying to figure out what jacket i can put on that's going to go over these shoulders which is proving to be very difficult right now and i need to go so this is my dress super super cute isn't it so cute i'm loving the organza trend it's so me these nails are so cool it's not having it but yeah you guys get the gist anyway i'm gonna get ready i've got slippers on right now because i can drive in these i can get the train in these and keep it moving i've got valentino heels in that bag so this is my little bag that i'm gonna carry with me i'm gonna pack the coconut oil as well because um I'm probably gonna need that for you I have made it to my birthday and look who's already here, Zoe, Tolu and Rachel. It's so beautiful here as well. I colour coordinated to make sure that my outfit matches or looks good with the colours. Hi Jess, looking all cute. Hi Bissy, I love your dress. So nice. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> How pretty. Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, two people. Yum yum. A matty brie with asparagus, a smoked salmon on brown bread, a orange scone, uh, a scone with uh, lavender, uh, clotted cream. Okay. Thank all you. Edible. All edible. The pot. Yeah. The pot is edible oh, wow. except, except this squeezy bottle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the metal pot. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really good though. Oh my god, how could I forget? So I came back home from my afternoon tea with the ladies, and to my surprise, my mum, my gran, my aunties, my cousins, and my baby niece and nephew all made their way to my flat. And we just ordered loads of pizza, we watched Love Island and all sorts of just catching up. They left at like 2am and so I had church the next day and I went to like my boyfriend's family church which I tend to do a couple of times a month actually uh, between going there and to Jubilee Church in Enfield. And we literally just had like a big celebration because it wasn't just my birthday that week. It was my boyfriend's sister's birthday, our niece's birthday and then my birthday all back to back in the week. Hi Rich, come up. Say hello. Oh, are you gonna stay here? Oh, that's nice. Hi! So that was really fun because it was um, Baby Girl's first birthday party and then our birthdays and there was loads of people born in July at church. So we had cakes, we had food and it was just so lovely because I got to spend time with my boyfriend's family, my family, my friends and my boyfriend all in the space of a couple of days. Um, we don't want to see your bum, Richie. <laughs> Richie! 
really fun. And then anyway, that was all the birthday celebrations. And I got a gorgeous pair of shoes from my boyfriend, which I'll show you guys in an upcoming video. Because I'm thinking about doing like a luxury haul or my favourite luxury items video. Rich, we do not want to see your bum. Guys, be right back. Be a good boy. I'm almost finished, okay? Thanks. So the next week I went to an event and I really wanted to show you guys this event because I went to a girls event who I've been following on Instagram for a while, Benicia Barteng, and she's absolutely stunning. She's literally somebody that I see on Instagram all the time. I see her work, her work's amazing. And it just so happens that a friend of mine, he is now her manager and so he sort of organised an event with her in conjunction with Fenty Beauty. So they have like a masterclass at her store. So yeah, I filmed it for you guys so you guys could really see and I was in awe. Oh my goodness. I will say about these foundations is that they do have a slight dry down so when you first pump them out you're like oh, okay this might be my color but give it a few minutes it's so You guys, that was actually amazing. I've got a cute Fenty goodie bag, and now I need to find my car, which I parked somewhere because Daniel told me that I could park here, and now I'm kind of worried. But I think it was free after um, 6 30. This road is so quiet now. When I got here, it was so packed, I couldn't even get out of the car. That's the main road. But it was so good. Sorry, just walked into the bicycle lane over there. But yeah, so that was really good. Now I'm figuring out whether I want to have Nando's today or not eat anything. And I feel like I want Nando's, so I think I'm going to go and order on the phone because it's like 20 minutes away. My house is from here. Pick it up. Missing Love Island, but it was worth it. It was really, really worth it. Like, yeah. <laughs> not drive in any kind of hill to be honest I just don't bother because I just know that whilst driving I'm gonna be like regretting it and like do something mad so this is what I was wearing I'm definitely not trying to drive in those and then a couple days later I had a meeting and I thought I'd show you guys what I got up to basically just me walking around properties in awe saying wow um, but you guys know that's what I love to do hi guys so I know I don't look my usual self but I am on site for the Montmorency Park development and I'm gonna go see a showroom which I'm excited about. It's all happening right now. I don't know if you can hear it all. But this is what I'm wearing. The next time you come, like you be like, oh. I know it's gonna be so different the next time. You guys are going to see much more and I can't wait to show you guys this because this is such a huge development um, and I think a lot of you guys are going to really enjoy that video when that comes next month. So you guys, that is basically what I got up to to turn 26. Nothing super extravagant, but still nonetheless very important, very fun, very meaningful and obviously I had this guy with me even though he does drive me crazy sometimes. Look at him. I had a lovely birthday um, celebration with all of the amazing people in my life. I feel so blessed 
I've achieved so much in this time and I just can't wait to do even more in this coming year with Richie by my side. Yeah. Hopefully if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe. Say bye, Richie. Bye. Uh, oh. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>